Okay, we're ready to start threading. I'll turn the lathe on. Throw the clutch on. I know that you can't see everything from this view, but I'm going to attempt to uh, photograph this from several different views. But the first thing we'll do is, uh, this is already set at zero, and we're just about touching the work, and we feed it in just a few thousands, and now we're going to wait until the number comes around, and we're going to catch it with our half nut lever, which is pulling this up, and it will stop there at number two, and there we go, we caught it. Now the tool is cutting. I know you can't see that from where you're at. But when the tool gets into the undercut, I'm going to throw the half nut lever off. That stops the cut. Now I can back the cross feed out, move the carriage manually to the beginning of the thread, turn the cross feed back into zero, feed the compound in three or four thousandths, and we're ready to catch it again on the next number. Okay, here we go from a different view. And everything is set and ready to go. And I'm going to move the threading lever up when it comes to the number, which is right now. And now we're making a cut. I'm going to stop it when it comes into the undercut. All right, I just threw the lever down. Now, at that point, I'm backing this out, moving the carriage back to the, to the starting point, right there, and I'm gonna move this back into zero. Never go past. Feed this in three or four thousandths, and now, ready to catch it, I'll have to wait till that comes clear around again because I missed it. But you got to have a little patience. We're going to put a little dab of oil on the work when we return to it. It's just coming around to the number, and I got the half nut lever up. There's some oil. Just put some oil on. I know it's not showing up real well yet, but because we don't have much of a thread, we just scratched it so far. We're going to back this off, move the carriage back to the starting point, move the cross speed back into zero, move the compound in three or four thousandths, and now we're ready to repeat that. And we're going to do that many times. It could be 20 times. How do we know when our thread is uh, finished? Well, when it comes to a full V, then you know it's about there, and we're just going to check it with a common nut. There are many other ways of doing this, but we're just going to use a, a nut for the purposes of this demo. Now, I'm going to take about uh, six or eight passes that will not be on uh, the video, just so that we have a thread starting to form. Okay, the thread is starting to form now. You can see that we've taken probably six or eight passes, and uh, at least you can see where the thread is. I took the oil and the chips off. Uh, I'm running it at a slightly faster speed now, but you may want to continue at the slower speed. Now I'm going to set the camera up on the back side and take a few more passes and see if that uh, shows up any better. But I know some of this is probably hard to see, and I'm trying to film at the same time that I'm making a thread, so stand by. Okay, we'll take a few passes from this side and see what happens. I just engaged the half nut. I know you certainly won't see any threads uh, shaving coming off on this side. I threw off the lever, moved the carriage back, moved the cross feed in to zero, Move that up about three thousandths. Engage the uh, half nut lever again. We might be able to see some chips coming off. As it enters the undercut, I'm going to throw the half nut lever off. Back out the cross feed. Move the cross feed back into zero. Okay, move the compound in three thousandths. Half nut lever caught on a, on a number. We are advancing and threading. the half nut lever off, back, 
Draw speed out. Move the draw speed back into zero. Move in three or four thousandths. Engage the half nut lever. And we again are cutting. I'm going to put just a little dab of oil on there. Half nut lever off. Draw speed out. Move it into zero. Compound three or four thousandths. And half nut lever engage. Starting to form a thread now, but I suppose it might have already been 20 passes. Stop, draw speed out, draw speed. This view is just to show you what my hands are doing. I'm ready to start a pass. As soon as it comes around, I caught it with the uh, half nut lever. We are making threads and chips right now. When the tool enters the Undercut, I'm going to throw the half knot lever off, back out the cross feed, move the carriage back, bring the cross feed into zero, advance this three or four thousandths, and I uh, just missed the number, I gotta wait for it to come around the next time. Engage the half knot lever. You must never take your work out of the chuck or lose your reference until the entire thread is complete. Back out the cross feed. There's a lot of repetition here, but that's why I'm going over and over and over. Back into zero. Advance three or four thousandths. Get ready to catch the uh, half knot lever. Engage the half knot lever. undercut, throw the half knot lever off, back out the cross speed, move the carriage back to the starting point, move that into zero, and add a few more thousands to the compound, and our thread is about three-fourths done. Okay, this is our very final pass. I did not increase the feed. Just a cleanup pass. Then we're going to try the nut. Stop it right there. Turn the motor off. And the thread is looking real good. Probably not as good on uh, tape here as what it is in real life. But one other thing I wanted to point out here, and then we're just about done, is that when we feed the compound in at, say, uh, 5 thousandths, it isn't really going in 5 thousandths because we're going at an angle. You'd have to do the math and the trigonometry to figure out how far it actually is advancing. Okay, I took the final pass and got the nut to go on. Feels pretty good. Don't cut it too uh, deep or your nut will be real sloppy. As I said, there's other ways of measuring a thread, but uh, with micrometers and special thread micrometers and wires and things like that and using special gauges, but no need to do that for our purposes here. But uh, if you crash your uh, lathe or uh, damage your tool, don't get discouraged. Just start over again and try it over and over again. One thing I didn't point out, when you grind your uh, threading tool, uh, it shouldn't come to too sharp of a point. I would hone the very sharp point off because there's a tendency for it to chip it gets rather delicate out there. Okay, now you know how to thread on the lathe by the single point method. I hope this was helpful. This is Tubal Kane signing out and saying so long for now.